all right, all right, all right. Triathlon 70.3, Moreau Bay hopefuls. We are going to do a little dive into the course. Uh, I'm not doing it personally. Um, Ryan here at setthebasedriathlon.com, but I am coaching us up some plans for some athletes that will be racing in, and we're trying to get ready as best as possible around here in Kansas City, and you know, as we can see in the background, this is in California, so it's a little bit of a hike away. I'd love to do the race personally one day, but this is going to be the best way I can go through this information, and especially if you're racing this and you're flying in from out of town or someplace like that, you don't have the opportunity to be in the area, I'd like to go through the course, talk about it a little bit hopefully help you out so <clears throat> we're gonna dive in we're gonna start with this video we're gonna talk about the swim uh, as we're doing this video this is May 16th uh, we are actually the week before uh, the race the race is May 20th of 2023 and this is the inaugural race so we're gonna just kind of go through the course a little bit which they do have a little video on the uh, website so if you wanted to uh, go through that you could and I'm not going to bore you with going through that <clears throat> but as you can see, you're kind of in a bay area, and it is salt water, so you're going to get the addition of the buoyancy from the salt water, <clears throat> and you're going to get the addition of the protection of the uh, structures around the bay that you're not going to be dealing with significant waves unless it's like a major weather event. So that is nice twofold. Like I said, salt water, you're getting the benefits of that, and also getting the benefits of protection from the kind of open ocean area. But you're getting an ocean swim with the boys in the salt water. So that's all good. I would definitely highly recommend you go to the course. <clears throat> Average water temperature 57 degrees. That's probably going to be a little bit chilly. Definitely bring a wetsuit. Definitely go full sleeve. Um, I would also recommend wearing a neoprene swim cap uh, to keep you uh, as much body heat in your body as possible. I am not a fan of uh, the water socks. Um, they just kind of fill up for me and kind of add more of an anchor than a benefit. And once you're in there for a couple minutes, you either uh, acclimate to the cold of the water or your feet just turn into big blocks of frozen ice until you get done with the swim. Either way, it's not really gonna be the end of the world. So personally, I don't worry about any green booties or anything like that uh, as far as my feet. Now, <clears throat> if you do have issues and that the water temperature is even too cold, you know, I know people have conditions where your, your hand circulation, especially in cold weather, just isn't very good. You want to contact the race director, make sure you got any you know, special needs or anything like that you need to get set up. But 57 degrees is going to be a little bit chilly. So I would definitely recommend you bring your wetsuit. Be ready. I'd suggest a full sleeve um, five times on Sunday. So make sure that you're prepared for that little bit chillier of a swim. I've also done videos, you know, the average air temperature is 66, 66 degrees. So when you pop out of the water and then you get changed, you get ready to go out on the bike. It's going to be a little bit chilly too, probably in the morning. So make sure that you're dressed appropriately to stay as warm as possible while you're warming up on the bike before you transition over to the run. So again, just make sure always wear mirrored or um, tinted swim goggles. So if you're facing the sun in any direction, it's not going to be a problem with the side or anything like that. The only thing that could, could pose a problem is if there's some mist or some fog or something like that trying to do the swim buoys. But like I said, being kind of in a protected bay here, you're going to be in a situation where you shouldn't have to fight too much chop or water or anything like that to do some siding. Might get a little bit tight in here with the amount of people, especially when you're going by these docks over here. You just be careful when you're going out to that start that, you know, <clears throat> you're either giving yourself a wide enough berth or you're siding to the right buoys. You know, over here, to notice where they got the kind of the middle section here. One side yellow, one side orange. Make sure you pay attention to which side your color. Make sure you cite to the right buoy because the last thing you want to be doing is zigzagging back and forth because you're looking for the wrong buoy. Especially over here at the turn. Notice it's two red buoys for the turn. Make sure you're citing to the correct buoy. You're always keeping this map is right. I was assuming it is a week out from race day start the buoy line is always going to be on your right so make sure you're always keeping the buoys on your right make sure you don't veer off course because if you start zigzagging you're going to waste a lot of time here and then you hit the uh, swim exit on the beach notice it is only one lap so let's real quick we'll just do all right so i'm at the swim start now at coleman park We'll be walking you down the walkway and then taking you in right behind me down this little beach. From transition, we'll walk you down the 
pathway. Down here, line you up, take you down this path onto the beach to start your swim. So again, we'll be doing a rolling start. So every five seconds, four people will go into the water. Take you right in here. Swim down past the boats, down into town. Swim you across. Send you out over by, once again, the rock. Okay, so I'm just outside a transition where the swim exit will be. Uh, as you can see in the far distance, back in the corner there, that's Coleman Park. That's where we'll send you into the water and we'll exit you out in this area here. And you run up the path in the transition at the rock. Tom, there's a lot of rocks right there. How are we gonna get out of the water? Well, that's where our great venue team, our site team comes into play and we will build our portable docks that we travel with uh, for you to get out of the water, cleanly out of the water and bring you up into transition. So rest assured, we'll get you out over the rocks. So as you can see, <clears throat> exit will be happening over that kind of rocky area. I imagine we'll build some sort of dock system to get you over that. Because the last thing I want you to do is probably climb into a bunch of rocks in this transition. So just be mindful of that. And as I mentioned, if you're gonna sit get set up here at transition, you're gonna walk down to the swim start. So make sure you budget a little bit of time to get ready to go down there and actually budget in time to get down there and walk. You're gonna seed as uh, how your swim times go for a 7.3 distance. So make sure you see it accordingly. And then every five seconds or so, they'll probably let three to four athletes enter the water. So it'll just be a rolling swim start. Pretty much, unless you're the, the sharp end, the pointy end of the field where you're one of the faster swimmers, you're gonna be swimming in traffic the entire time. So just be ready for that. that is, I mean, once you start that rolling swim start, there'll be plenty of people that didn't seed yourselves necessarily correctly. You're gonna be swimming over, people will be swam over. Um, it's gonna be a little, probably a little bit crowded. Um, so just be ready for that uh, and be ready for a little bit of contact, a little bit of people, and especially as you're going by the docks and then down the other side, you swim a little bit wider. As you saw in the video, this looks like a little bit of a wider gap. So like I said, just be ready. Make sure you're siding. So with that, I'm going to wrap that up for the video. We're talking about Morrow, B, Morrow Bay 7.3, uh, an Iron Ironman out there. Just talking about the swim course, kind of what my pointer should be for the swim course. And like I said, Definitely bring a wetsuit, go for full wetsuit, just be prepared. It's going to probably be a little bit chilly. Um, you shouldn't really have to deal with too many waves or anything like that. So it should be a nice, especially for beginners, as far as that goes, to get out there and get this one done. So if they have questions or anything like that, put them in the comments, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you see this. Give it a like, give them a thumbs up, hit subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And we'll catch you in the next video.